What's up, you guys? Shardimus Prime here, doing another Diamond Select Toy Statue review on the Marvel Gallery Silk Statue. If you're trying to pick this up, you can order it right now at Big, Big, Big. Get your big, badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. And I gotta give a big thanks to Diamond Select Toys for sending out this product to review for you guys. If you wanna see the latest from Diamond Select Toys, check the link in the description below. And yes, I love Silk, and seeing her in statue form right here looks really good. Nice looking packaging with the text right over there and you can see a window on this side looking really good so far and then on the back you can see a product shot there's a read up over here if you want to read it go ahead and pause it right now then we get another window right over there window at the top and not much more at the bottom so let's get to it and crack this thing open and here is silk out of the packaging and as expected i think this statue is absolutely stunning uh, i really like the character quite a bit uh i haven't read her in the comics actually recently now that i think about it but i'm kind of behind on my books but anyway i really like the character of Silk, and I think this statue looks really good. We get a great looking Silk statue along with a great looking base, but first let's get a closer look at that face. <laughs> that rhymed. But here's looking at the face sculpt, which I really like a lot. Now at first I was thinking, oh, maybe these eyes don't look like a Korean woman's eyes, maybe, I'm not sure. I did a Google search of Silk cosplay and oh, oh man, yeah, that's a rabbit hole you cannot dig yourself out of. Woo! Yeah, good looking cosplayers. But anyway, back to the statue. Wow, uh, I think they did a great job with this so I really like how the face comes out you know even though half of it's covered I like how the mask looks we get some nice wrinkles sculpted in there and I really dig her hair yeah the hair looks really good man a lot of nicely sculpted lines and I like how it's all flat right there at the bottom very very cool I'm digging it and then looking at all the cobweb pattern and the silk logo and all that right there in the center it looks very clean very well sculpted nice clean paint apps uh, I like the physique of the character, or the statue anyway, it looks really good. I'm just kind of looking at the arm right there. These are sculpted in lines, and you have her hands. Now she does have a little, uh, little rubber band here holding uh, the webbing effect because her webbing comes out of her fingertips. So it's a little bit tricky, but you can see we get this translucent little plastic piece right over here. And I'd taken that off and reattached it. We get another one on this side right over here, which I don't want to take off, but you can see a little webby piece, so that's pretty cool. And I think it looks really good over here. Uh, it's just that when it gets to this part where it's a little bit more opaque or a little bit more of a richer blue color, I feel like it should have been, I don't know, a little bit lighter with the blue. I feel like it's just a little bit too much blue where it almost kind of looks like water coming out of her fingertips instead of webbing, but I really do like the sculpt of it. You know, the sculpt definitely looks like webbing to me. It does look pretty cool, but I just wish it had a little bit less blue in it. And then looking at the bottom right there, you can see the webbing again. So it does have a lot of blue going on over there, which, you know, that artistically, you know, with the colors and the contrast and everything, it works well with the piece. But anyway, going back, looking at the statue again, you know, nice sculpted feet right there and really nice looking legs. And there is a little bit of a paint scuffage right there on the right cheek, but I think they did a good job uh, sculpting all of that right there it looks great I like the stretching you know it looks very realistic and beautiful pose man yeah, it's a sexy character, you know, if you guys don't know her in the comics, whenever her and Peter Parker are together, they have to get busy. It's just part of them, you know, and their whole uh, backstory with them sharing. I think they shared the same spider that bit Peter, right? And then she was kind of like stored away in a facility somewhere, and that's how we didn't know about her until now, right? So anyway, the base right there looks really good. I like the logo. We get the spider logo for her and the whole silk pattern right there. You can see the translucent plastic. Very cool looking, I dig this. Now to measure out the height of this gorgeous statue, you can see that Silk is standing at about eight and a half inches tall. And then here's Silk next to a couple other Marvel Gallery Diamond Select toy statues that I reviewed recently. We have the Savage Land Rogue and Black Widow. And out of the three of these, which one's your favorite? I don't know, my order is going Rogue number one, two Silk, three Black Widow. And then for a Silk comparison, we have the Silk Marvel Gallery statue next to the Marvel Legends Silk. And I do wish the Marvel Legend figure had a lot more of a lighter gray color uh, for this design right over here as opposed to this one. This looks a lot more comic accurate to me. And then here's Silk next to your average six inch scale figure. We have the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. I 
right, want to thank you guys again for watching my video. I really do appreciate it, especially when you watch these videos from the beginning to the end. And when you hit that like button, leave your comments, and please hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. I mean, come on, man. How can you not like this statue? It looks amazing. I really think they killed it with this piece. I do have my gripes about the blue coloring of the webbing. I do think it is a bit too blue, especially on that lower portion over there attached to the base. Uh, but other than that, I mean, I still think it's an amazing looking statue. I'm very, very happy with it, and I'm giving it a sun rating of... I love it! Oh yeah, there is a little, you know, white speck on the booty. That, that is a little bit bothersome, but still, I don't know. Maybe I could use a little pen and cover that up. I don't know. It shouldn't be too hard to deal with. But anyway, it's still a great looking piece. I really like it. If you want to see the latest in Marvel news, forums, and photos, you can find it all over at MarvelousNews.com. And if you want to follow me on the social media, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, and Stardust. Links to everything in the description below. I'll catch you guys later. Peace! Hey, I'm sure I Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.